And then we will browse that element, that um, dimension to see what it looks like. We have the top level, then we have four regions, and within each region, as I mentioned, there will be customers. In this particular region, we have three customers, but we also have four territories, and those territories have customers, thereby creating an unbalanced structure. Next, the third dimension will be a time dimension. We're going to use the time wizard to build this dimension. The top level will be the all times. And we're going to have a starting date of 01-01-2004 and an ending date of 12-31-2008. We're going to create this dimension with years, quarters, and months. Notice the years, the quarters, and the months are the month name followed by the year. We formatted that uh, so that it is the name of the month. Next, we're going to create the executable job, and we're going to put each of the dimensions and their mappings into the job. In this case, the time dimension will go into the job, but there is no mapping for the time dimension. It's loaded uh, through the cube mapping. We can close these up now, and next we will create the cube itself. We'll create a new cube called Demo Cube, and we're going to rebuild this cube on every execution of the job. Next, we're going to create uh, a measure. We'll call this measure revenue. There will be only one measure in this cube. We're going to add the dimensions that we've defined to the cube. Now that the cube is defined, we need to create the mapping for the cube, and we'll call it demo map or cube map. We're going to create a result set based on the source connection. And we're going to use the sales table and the dealer table. The dealer table is necessary to get the name of the dealer. We'll create a link between the dealer ID and we'll select the dealer name, the customer, the date of the transaction, the sale, and the additional sales. Next, we'll create an alias for the name, and we'll call it dealer, uh, just to make it clearer when we create the mapping. Next, the destination object is going to be the cube that we've defined. We'll call it demo cube. And we'll select that cube. For the mapping, we can make a direct connection between the customer and uh, the dealers. Next, we need to define a, uh, a helper object for the date format. The date coming in is month, month, date, a year, year. Uh, however, we uh, chose to use month, space, year uh, for the cube. So we'll change the format here. Here are the month names that we're going to use. And we'll link the date from the source to the input field, and the output field will go to the time dimension of the cube. Next, we have two numeric uh, fields that we need to sum. So we're going to link both of those into a numeric helper object, and the output will go to the revenue measure. 
Next, we need to actually create the formula, which will be, again, the, the sales and the additional sales. And that will complete the mapping for the cube itself. We'll save that and close it. Next, we'll add the cube uh, to the job. And we're ready to execute the job. Notice the blue dots on the left-hand side. Blue dots are good. Uh, yellow and red dots are not. Hopefully, we won't have any of those today. Next, we're going to use uh, the cockpit to take a look at the cube that we built. We'll create a uh, report. I'm not going to explain how to build a report, since what we're really interested in is looking at the data within the cube. So I'll just click through some of these. OK, here's our report with the customers in the rows. And I'll open that up, and we'll take a look at Canada. And you'll notice that the customer name is now di displayed, uh, since we put the name into the display. Uh, now we'll take a look. If you'll recall, we built an attribute, uh, which was the customer number and the customer name. And that was ID and name. I'll select that. And now in the display, we can see the customer number and the customer name for each of the uh, clients within this database. Next, we'll dice this uh, display over to the dealers. And we'll take a look at the dealers. In the dealers, we have the region with the customers. And we have the region with three customers, but it also has territories that have customers, hence uh, the uh, unbalanced dimension. Uh, next, we'll select uh, the years. And in this case, we're just going to choose uh, year 2005. And we'll take it then to 2006, 2007. So all of the data is there, and that concludes our demonstration. Thank you.